Okay, in this clip we're going to look at part two of the clips on continuous random variables. And we're going to look at finding the medium value of x given that density function and finding the mode. We'll look at the expected value in another clip. Before I start to look at finding the median value of x, I'm just going to do a bit of theory background, if you like, on what that means. Right. So, should be able to recall from statistics courses you've done in the past that the median is just the 50th percentile for a set of data. But when we look at that in terms of probability density functions and continuous random variables, what we actually mean is the value of x such that this integral from minus infinity to p of f of x d of x equals 0.5 where p is that value of x where that occurs. Similarly, the 30th percentile would be the integral from negative infinity to p of f of x, d of x equals 0.3. Upper quartile, which you should recall is the 75th percentile, means the integral equals 0.75. Lower quartile means that it equals 0.25. So if we look at that graphically, we want to find the area underneath a probability density function f of x so that we're starting at the lowest and now we're working our way up to the highest value so this might be negative infinity well, that can't go below but that'll go off to negative infinity and this would go off to plus infinity we want to find when the area is less than a particular value so if we're interested in lower quartile we'd want to find where that area is equal to 0 0.25 because we know if we sum the area underneath the probability density function for a continuous random variable it's going to add up to 1 always so 0 0.25 is 25 percent of 1 mean, oh sorry that should be median is 0 0.5 upper quartile 0 0.75 so the mean means half the area underneath, including into this region. The upper quartile means 75% of the area. Okay? So that helps us to visually understand what they mean by median, upper, lower quartiles, and so on. So let's go back to the graph I sketched in part one. What we're interested in finding here is a value p somewhere between negative 1 and 1 so that at p half of the area is to the left of our line p equals x. Okay, so this becomes tricky so we really need to know how to calculate areas underneath the graph. I'm going to do that for you now. Okay, we know the height here is 0 0.2 and the distance is 1, so the area of this region is 0 0.2, which isn't 0 0.5, it's less than 0 0.5. So we know that the remaining area here must be equal to 0 0.8. It's 1 take 0 0.2 equals 0 0.8. But we want 0 0.5 to be our magic number. So I need to find a value of p somewhere in here so that the area to the left of p is equal to 0 0.3 and then adding that 0 0.3 here to that 0 0.2 there we get 0.5 and the way I'm going to do that is going to be kind of graphical and I could do it using integrals as well but I'm going to do it graphically okay so we're told we've already got This area, 0 0.2, and I want to find the value P so that this area is 0 0.3, and I know the equation here is y 0 0.2 plus 1.2x. Okay, so that's how we're going to do that. Well, good question. We know that this equation 
is that one. So we just want to find the integral from uh, 0 to p of f of x dx is equal to 0 0.3. Now I'm going 0 here and not negative infinity because I know I'm already at 0. I don't need to consider anything else to the left. I'm going to p here because I don't know that x value but I know it's going to be p uh, median value. So I'm going to do that integral for you now. So I want to solve that. Now this becomes and I want to evaluate this to find p. And now what I get is 0.2p plus 1.2, oops that should be 2 there, 1.2p squared over 2 take naught, because when I substitute naught into there it just goes away, equals 0.3 and let's tidy this up I'll get rid of the 2 here it becomes 2 times 0 0.2 p over 2 plus 1.2 p squared over 2 equals 0 0.6 over 2. So now I have 0.4p plus 1.2p squared equals 0.6. That's what I want to solve. I rearrange it. And now I can solve this because it's a quadratic formula. A quadratic equation. So I can use the quadratic formula so p is going to be equal to um, b squared which is 0 0.4 squared plus or minus, what is it? x equals minus, sorry, keep going on the next page. Let me use this one down on. We want P, B is 0.4, so minus 0.4, plus or minus 0 0.4 squared take 4 times 1.2 times negative 0 0.6 over 2 times 1.2. Now if I did that on my calculator, I can do it by hand. That's another clip altogether, but briefly I'll, I'll just do it like this. 1.2 is equal to 12 over... Uh, 100, uh, sorry, 10.4 is equal to 4 over 10. And then I'll just do my square and using fractions if I needed to. And my multiplying using fractions, so negative 0 0.6 is negative 6 over 10. Anyway, that's a bit of an aside. But anyway, I find P is two values, and they are. Um, negative 0 0.89315 and 0 0.559816 which one do I choose? well I choose the one that's in the interval I'm interested in which isn't a negative one so my median value P or median Not too good at writing and keeping the paper on the screen, but you get that in the big jobs. I'll do the mode 